What's up Tube Tube? This is Lo Guido from Lo Guido's Chop Shop and this is not a video that I thought I would make but um, I was in the process of um, making another video on this particular blaster and um, I thought it'd be fun to just whack a bunch of ridiculously big springs in and break this gearbox because I was gonna upgrade the gears anyway and um, well now you see what happens next. So I've got some uh, some upgrade springs here. I've got a uh, nondescript upgrade spring. I estimate it's probably about a I don't know an M one ninety. Sorry, an M ninety or thereabouts. Uh, I've also got a M one hundred. An M140, and if we survive that far, an M150. So I mean, I don't think it's gonna. <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna survive the 140. It might survive the 100, and it should survive the 90. Um, let's see. Alright, so first I'm going to do a 11 volt LiPo, see how that handles it, because we're going to be doing uh, 11 volts, no doubt, to uh, be able to handle the springs we're doing. Here you goes, 11 volts. Doesn't seem to be any problems with 11 volts. Change it out. There's a stock spring. Chuck in the slightly upgraded spring. Um, let's see if I can. Wind these back a bit. Alright, <clears throat> the upgraded spring. Here we go. No problems there. I think that one was like a M90, just at a guess. Now we go to the M100. Now what do you think? Place your bets now. You reckon? M100 is going to kill it, or do you reckon it'll survive the M100? What do you reckon? Pause the video now and put it in the comments. No problems. Alright, well, pause the video now, put this in the comments. Um, M140, I don't think it's going to survive the M140. I don't think it's going to survive the M140. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I mean, give these, give these nylon gears some credit. They are, they are doing okay. All right, this this is gonna kill it for sure. I can tell. Here we go. Oh oh, we got one, two. I'm, I've I've obviously knocked myself into semi.
Alright. <clears throat> I'm I'm at the point now I think where my where my battery is now starting to get uh a bit too low to, to turn it. Hold on, let me whack another battery on. Alright, new battery. M140. Ah, oh, it's really struggling at the back here. Um, it's like the spring's compressed all the way back and um, it can't get it to cycle to the next part. Alright, let me just reset this and then keep going. Alright, I've reset the spring. Here we go. I've got myself in semi again. Oh, I'll, hang on. Where's auto? Auto must be forward. Oh my gosh. Give the nylon gear some credit guys. Give them some credit. This is... This is pulling some current. The motor's getting a bit warm. Man. These gears, they're going hard. Let's put the, let's put the 150 in. Alright, guys, do not underestimate the power of a properly shimmed nylon geared gearbox. I mean, it wouldn't last forever, but it's certainly getting, getting the job done. Alright. M150. Let's see how we go. Cycled it. Alright. Pop it into auto. Here we go. That is amazing. That is amazing. I didn't think I'd have to do this. I didn't think I'd have to do this, but I got another spring. Alright, I'm not sure what this spring is. Um, could be, uh, I'm not sure. It is 1.7 or 1. 1.6, close enough to 1.7 mils in diameter. Uh, the M150 was 1.5. I don't know if you can see that, 1.5. This one's 1.7. And, like, this is a stock spring that it came with, and this is, like, <laughs> Oh man, this I didn't think it I didn't think it'd get this far. But here we go. Here we go. Send it. Alright. Ready. Alright, it can't. It can't do it. Can't do it. Doesn't have the the torque to um, pull it back. But it pulled it back. It didn't break the gears. I was man. I was. <laughs> I wanted some destruction. I wanted some destruction. I was praying for mayhem. Um. This. It's testament. This is testament, guys. Testament. You don't always have to have metal everything. Um, I'd love to know what FPS this thing was pushing when it was when it was um, doing the M150 spring. Uh, oh man! In the interest of science, I'm just going to have to like do some. Some quick shonky chrono. Alright, here we go. 
I loaded some gels just directly into the T-piece. Um, just going to send it. Hopefully they, hopefully the, the gels will gravity feed. Maybe not. Might have to put another gel or two in there and just give it some pressure. Alright, here we go. Well, I only got one to feed there. But it was 404 FPS. So, see if I can squeeze another one in there. That one is 399. Just, I don't know, in case you don't believe me. Um, I'm having, I, I can't get, I can't get them to feed, hang on, this is quite, a, this is not an ideal <laughs> setup, uh, alright, here we go. That was 3.93. Anyway, I think we I think we get the points made. Pushing uh, pushing 400 FPS on a standard nylon gear box, and uh, and it's doing it, doing it. Trying to break this box and it's just not having any of it. This goes to show that I um I correctly shimmed nylon gear box can be better than an incorrectly shimmed metal gear box and believe it believe it i've said it a long time said it for a long time it all comes down to who builds your box not what it's made of i certainly was not expecting that result i was not expecting this thing to hold up to the abuse that i just gave it uh, <laughs> Anyway, I thought that this actually deserved its own little short video, so yeah, thanks for watching.